hi welcome to my video i'm going to talk about how i made this double cage and all the accessories and everything and i'll show you my house as well so i have combined two cages together to make this massive look it's longer than i am this massive cage and it's all for my syrian boy pippin this is the tabic hamster heaven metro and yeah they go for 75 pounds retail so i went on facebook marketplace and like gumtree like if you're in the uk and this one was 30 pounds obviously second hand this one was 20 pounds so 50 pounds so i was gonna get an ikea detolf which would have costed a lot more than 50 pounds and the ikea detolf only comes to like 950 square inches of floor space and this comes to 120 <laughs> maths comes to 1240 square inches of floor space so this is where the original cage like ended you can see here this would just be one cage i took out the um the bars so that i could just put them together and these are simple like these are just from amazon before i put them together i searched like if anyone's done this before and i saw someone put their cage like that like on top of each other I was gonna get him a hamster cage that was really tall and I was like oh my god he's gonna love this but um, when I learned more about hamsters Victoria Rachel um, <laughs> when I learned more about hamsters I realized even though it looks really nice and it's really pretty and has all these tunnels they don't really need that they need long uninterrupted floor space which is what I've done this is how in scale I like everything I actually can't really reach the ends of it but that's because I'm, I'm smaller also these cages alone the depth i don't think is that is that good so i put um like cardboard at the back of here it's really easy to do just like tape it on the on the bars so that you can higher the level a little bit so we can dig a bit god it's heavy right this is the bedding i use carefresh it's not scented um it's paper based just want to take these off really so i lost the nail <laughs> comes with two platforms so you, i'm using the pink one right now so these are actually connected to the wire bit of the cage so before i pull that off i'm gonna have to take these off there you go so you can take them off put them back on container for like sand we have a little coconut hide from pets at home probably like oh god probably like five pounds it smells really gross if you smell inside it though so yeah these are for like enrichment this is half of a maze i cut it because it was just massive so he used to actually sleep but this is where his little bed used to be until I made him that bigger thing. This was only like 15 pounds from Amazon. They do last a while, but as you can see, that is like staining from where he pees. So they will not last forever. It's kind of like the Night Angel one, but cheap um, and not as good. But you can't hear it. He seems to run well on it. He likes it. So we're gonna take this off. It comes with handles. Ow. My ring is stuck to the cage. So I made this house using a tutorial that Victoria Rachel did and I love her so much. Recently I ordered an Xbox Series X and wait let me show you. It came with this, this box, but I was thinking like I could just put it like that. That is sick. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited about this. I think I might actually be a house to be fair. Take this stuff that definitely needs to go. Ugh, sand, see that? That's from him shaking his sand off. I'm gonna take it off. Hey baby! He's here! I'm gonna 
Con, I'm sorry. Okay, he's alive. I was just scared that he wasn't. He's not a very, um, he's not the, the cuddliest hamster. He won't sit in your hand, but like, he's, he's like me. He's a bit awkward. He wants to love you, but he can't. Or maybe I'm just saying that to make myself feel better and he's actually like, he hates me. So this is the inside of the cage. Um, I did move some things around. After that last clip, I gave up because I was stressed and then I got sick. So here I am, like five days later. I added some tissue pieces because he likes to take it back to his bed and make it comfy, but make sure they're not scented because that can be toxic. POV, you're a hamster and you have no responsibilities apart from peeing on the wheel. Anyway, I have nothing to do but yap because I have like five minutes of random clips of the inside of the cage, so good luck. Look at this sick cinematography. If you want the webcam, here you go. Hey baby, Pip. It's Pippin. Hello, Pip. He's probably so confused, like, why are you in my home? I know he's just a hamster, but genuinely sometimes he stares at me across the room and it's terrifying. Oh. All these tubes come with the savage, I can't even say that name again, the cage. They come with the cage and he loves them. The one in the top, he used to sleep in it, which was a mess for me, but he loved it. Here he is drinking. I love when he drinks. Um, I have water bowls as well around the cage just in case. I read that red LEDs are good for hamsters, so I just put that on. And I was trying to record him on the wheel, but as soon as I put the light on, he stopped. He's so stubborn. I left the camera in there like a stalker and put the light off and he went back in the wheel. So uh, Syrian hamsters need about 11 or 12 inch wheels because their spine can curve if they have a smaller wheel. So the wheel that comes with this cage is not good enough. They need a bigger one. Pippin loves apples. He will sit there and eat an entire slice of apple. Um, he also loves cheese. Look at his face. He also loves cheese. Um, look at him. Look at him. Just look at his little hands. Look at his hands. Look at his. You can see his tongue as well. Sorry. Um, but yeah, here he is. I'm gonna yap for a minute until he decides to go back in his little bed. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the first kind of video video that I've made, as well as the editing. I had <laughs> I had some fun with the editing. Um, there's his face, very close up. Um, yeah, so let's pretend I'm talking about something very interesting and insightful. Thank you for watching this video though. Maybe you learnt something. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you're cringing. But yeah, thank you for being here. And maybe I'll see you soon. Bye!